You could feel something was amiss when you got here. You prepare for combat. You're not able to throw your blade around yet. That was a display of mastery and skill. Searching the corpse reveals some blies, which you pocket. Pushing aside the tent flap, you enter the fortune teller's tent. You enter the makeshift tent of the gypsies. It's dark inside, but you see your seat in front of a woman, who smiles warmly. Welcome, welcome. It is good to see you, friend. I enjoy meeting new people. I am Karenina, and you are Mr. Rome, are you not? Well, you're certainly good at this. <laughs> Well, I claim nothing. I only offer advice. Would you care for me to read your fortune? Yes, please. Just ten blies, please. You pay the ten blies. You will find one of the totems you are seeking in the remains of former happiness and glory. You will find a totem you seek behind the living beauty and grace of nature that falls from on high. You will find that which you seek in the burial rock of the faithful departed, hidden from sight but clear as day. The one who speaks when his tongue is loosed by liquor inadvertently holds exactly what you want, kept close to his heart but attached to his neck. Thank you for visiting, friend. Please do come back again. The door is locked. Lifting up the mat, you see some dust and not much else. What a waste. There is nothing on the cabin that you can take. Hey, Udo. You have purchased some rubbing alcohol. Don't drink it. You have purchased some snake oil. Thank <laughs> you. 
the old comfy bed. You decide to lie down. You slept until the night and you feel amazing for doing so. It is now night time. Oh, Mr. Rome, a young lady in a green robe left a message here for you. She told me to tell you to meet her to the north, just beyond the 99 acre woods. Thanks, Kessel. Appreciate it. Well, you don't see Kayana here. She did say to meet here. I know because I was paying attention. I'm always paying attention. Not like you care. Anyway, she's not here like she said she would be. Uh, see this? My father gave this to me. This old thing is the most precious thing I own. My old papa told me it was the greatest gift he could give me. That it was our family's honor and legacy. And I should protect it with my life. So I'm never taking it off. And I never will. Come on, Japsworth, you old fraud. Enough of this crap already. Ugh, bah. Forget these peasants. If you really want to talk with me, let's get out of here. I want you all to know that I like none of you half as much as you like me, but twice as much as I love the beer. Guess you may as well follow the old coot. Well, I need a drink. I won't say no to a whiskey. Hey, Japsworth. What's that behind you? What? Where? Using the flat of your sword, you hit Japsworth across the midsection. <laughs> ha! He spewed! <laughs> That's so damn cool! You quickly remove the necklace from around Japsworth's neck and stow it in your backpack. You see a drunken, older man. He looks like he's attempting to dress like an adventurer, but he looks more like a stuffed rhubarb. This massive door seems to be carved of some ornate and heavy wood, probably very expensive. The door is locked. This is a serious lock. You're going to need some skill to pick this. A 
after some serious finagling, you're able to get the door open. Whoa! Using your thieving skills, you notice this floor tile is a trap. You manage not to activate it, because you don't know how many more you can avoid. Be careful! Whoa! Using your thieving skills, you notice this floor tile is a trap. It's a complex looking safe. You note that the safe is made by Lobotech, one of the hardest safes to crack. Cracking your knuckles, you decide to try and tackle opening the safe. Your turn! Great! Here's the first number. Your turn! Great! Here's the second number! Your turn! Great! Here's the third number. Your turn! Great! Here's the fourth number! Combination entered. Success! Safe now opening! The safe opens and you take the flies inside. Whoa! Using your thieving skills, you notice this floor tile is a trap. Whoa! Using your thieving skills, you notice this floor tile is a trap.
you climb over the town gate. a leather pouch filled with coins of various shapes and sizes. You have some blythos. You see a bunch of glowing fireflies gathered here. The grass feels cool under your aching feet. Somebody decided it was too much hassle to cut this tree from the path, so they cut some holes in it instead. Good thing too, it's bloody massive. Somebody decided it was too much hassle to cut this tree from the path. You see some sort of strange glowing fungus on top of the log. You bend down and curiously pick up some of the glowing fungus. You hope this doesn't kill you. You stumble through the forest until you crash out here, apparently on a road. You could feel something was amiss when you got here. You prepare for combat. Nice work! That bastard is dead. Searching the corpse reveals some blies, which you pocket.
This is a strange self-glowing fungus. You put the glowing fungus inside the jar and it gently begins to glow. You catch a bunch of fireflies inside the jar and quickly put it away. You climb over the gate. Ah, the old comfy bed. You decide to lie down. You sleep until the morning and wake up with the daylight. It's now morning. You're starving. You should go downstairs and get some breakfast from Ina. You sit down at the table. Here's your meal, Mr. Rowan, sir. Looks lovely. Thank you, dear. You wolf down all the food and give a proper belch. You enter the bank. Well, this is an interesting contraption. It appears to be some kind of machine for members of the bank. Thank you for being a backer of Quest for Infamy. Without you, this game would not be possible. 
If you were not a backer, you were a tool of taking advantage of someone else's bank card. Welcome to the Bank of Volksville. How can I help you? No, no. How can I help you? Sunglasses? A bonnet? Sun umbrella? Oh, yeah. Ha ha. Think you're funny, hey? I know I'm funny. Yeah, yeah. What can I do for you? This is the Bank of Volksville. It was founded by the Killington family many years ago and we're still here to serve you. We don't talk about them here, but I totally think they were cursed. It's a nice little place, but I prefer it down in Tyr. Tyr is pretty amazing. The library is full of all kinds of books, even dirty ones. I know, because I've looked. Have a pleasant day, sir. You too. Stay out of the sun. I'll try. Ah, hello Mr. Roham. Come, come, you need to enjoy a good smoke after defeating such a blowhard as Gorth. Hello again, young master. Welcome to my shop. You have purchased a smoking pipe. You have purchased some Jundarian leaf tobacco. My Owen, it's the young man who sent Gorth packing. Good job, you old codger. The bastard deserved it. How can I help you today, young man? You have purchased a small flint and steel. <laughs> 